Let's say you want to use .NET Aspire with the OpenTelemetry collector together inside your .NET solution. This is a best practice as recommended by the practical OTEL people here because it allows you to leverage the OpenTelemetry collector's filtering, batching, and enrichment capabilities. But the other reason why you might want to do this is maybe you want to transmit some of the telemetry from your local instance of your application to something like Grafana and Prometheus so you can use some custom dashboards you built. Well, if you follow all the advice in this repository, it still won't work. Let's take a look at why. What this sample is doing is it's defining an extension method you can add your .NET Aspire application right here that allows you to use a custom configuration file for the OpenTelemetry collector and will forward this OTEL collector to all of your applications using a lifecycle hook in Aspire. And what this code essentially does is it launches the OTEL collector as a Docker container, which is pretty standard, grabs the endpoints for it, and then injects it into your application. If we take a look at the resources here for this practical OTEL repo, you can see that we've got an API service, a front end, and then we have our collector running here. And if we take a look in Aspire, you'll be able to see all the logs, traces, and metrics that are coming in. That all looks pretty normal. But if you dig down into the details and take a look, for instance, at one of these services, if we look at the OpenTelemetry exporter endpoint, you'll see this points to localhost 58439, which is the random port that was assigned to this container by Aspire when it launched this resource. So it looks like we should be writing everything out to our OpenTelemetry collector, right? you're wrong. I added some custom logging to the front end application where we will record what the actual value of this environment variable is. And this is what we use to configure where OpenTelemetry is going to send all of its data. And it's being set back to the .NET Aspire OpenTelemetry ingestion endpoint, meaning that all this work we did to try to go ahead and configure the OpenTelemetry collector is being front run by Aspire. Even though we show that the environment variable value is set to the OpenTelemetry collector, .NET Aspire will actually overwrite that and not reflect it in the dashboard. This is a problem with .NET Aspire 9.4. The way to fix this is actually to pass in your OTEL collector as a different environment variable name. So we gave it this one down here. And then you want to extract that environment variable and manually assign the, the OpenTelemetry line exporter's endpoint to be the value of that custom environment variable. And as you can see here, if I go to our Aspire window, go ahead and launch my Grafana instance. And I can see that we're getting metrics here. And if I launch my Seek instance, I can see that we're getting traces and logs here as well. So the OpenTelemetry collector is exporting data to Seek, Grafana, and it is also exporting that data back to .NET Aspire itself. So if you want to work with the OpenTelemetry collector in .NET Aspire, which is a good idea and a best practice, by the way, this is what you're going to need to do until Microsoft fixes this. Well, that'll do it for this video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to check the description to find links to other resources we may have included. So blog posts, GitHub code samples, other videos, so on. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. We'll catch you next time. Thank you very much.